So in this chapter, we will have a look to packages on home screen. So the home screen is the first thing you see when you open your device and how we can build our own home screen. First of all, what is the interest of building its own home screen? First of all, if you have a social network, you may want to display the information directly inside of the home screen uh, the notifications, uh, the, the, the friend, uh, and so on, directly on the home screen. So you may want to define your own home screen. And a lot of companies have tried to define their own screen, Facebook, Snapchat, and so on. So the advantage of doing that is that the user will have the important information directly when opening the phone. OK, so the question is, how we can do that? But before that, we can ask, what are the relevant information we have to display when defining our own home screen? The home screen helps to have a quick access to application. So the minimum we have to do is to build an home screen that can list the set of installed applications inside of the phone. OK? So how we can access the install application on the phone? To do that, we have to use Package Manager. Package Manager is just a <coughs> Linux daemon. And during the application, during the installation of an application, sorry, it opens the APK and grab all the valuable information and store it. So every time an application is installed, the package manager is called. Every time an application is deinstalled, the package manager is called. So with that, we can list the name of the application we want, we want to have access. So applications are installed in directories. There are three directories, system app, the pre-installed in application, data app, the installed application by the user, and finally, data data app, <coughs> which is a specific data for each application. So this is the, the life cycle of uh, the package manager. So this is quite complex, but basically we can observe that first the query to pay is provided to package installer, then the package installer activity is launched, then the package installer will update a progress bar in order to notify the user that something is happening. And finally, when the app is installed, a, notif a notification is triggered. Okay, and we can see that this package manager is in inserted inside of the whole component tree of Android. Okay, so package manager helps to have a lot of inf information for instance, we can ask for what are the broadcast receiver inside of the phone on the device. So this is done through query broadcast receiver. We can also ask for activity that can reply to an intent. We can ask to services to, that can reply to an intent, and so on, and so on, and so on. Okay, so let's suppose now that we want to build a list of applications with the, the icon of each application. To do that, we first define a class which is AppDetail, composed of a label, a name, and some icon. Okay? If I want to load this app, what I will do? First of all, I will grab the package manager. Then I will build an array list of app details which will handle the list of the application installed on the phone. Then I will build an intent. This intent will look for all the activities that can reply to category launcher. In other words, all the applications that can be directly run from the user. Then, I can just query intent activities with the intent I have just specified. The result will be 
return inside of the list of resolve info and then I can build a new app detail and grab the label, the package name, the icon and so on. And this is it. I have interrogated my system in order to be able to know what are the activities installed on my phone. So then if I want to display this list of activities, I just have to build a simple view, for instance a list view, and then I have to modify my Android file.xml to be sensitive to, uh, to launch in order to be the main part of my activity. And then I just have to build the view. And to do that, I just use an array adapter. And through this array adapter, I can then refine the, the, the view for each uh, element inside of my list and then set up the, the icon. And if we launch this application, we will have a first notification, which is, do you want to use forever this uh, new home screen or not? You choose. And then I have some button. When I click on this button, the list of uh, activities that are available on my phone are displayed. So to sum up, Package Manager helps to get information about pre-installed implication and installed application. And this, this kind of information is very useful when we want to build a home screen. But we can use a package manager to do a lot more if we want to interrogate for services that are available on my phone and so on. We can do that. And we can define the same way the lock screen. Uh, but if you want to do that, you have to be sure that you will give a minimum of security. You have to define, for instance, a PIN code to enter to your phone. You have to define security access and so on and so on. So to do that, you just have to register to some event, boot completed to trigger lock screen after a reboot, action screen on, action screen off to trigger the on and the off of the screen, and I already talked about security.